We're joined now by Niagara Centre MP Vance Badaway. Vance, a visit last week by Neil Ellis, Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Agriculture, put the focus on the grape and wine industry here in Niagara. Yeah, Neil came down and uh, took some time to announce or re-announce from uh, the budget 2021 the contribution that we're making to both the grape growers as well as the wine producers. Uh, something that's a minute now, so, uh, essentially because of the most recent road trade organization decision based on the uh, the excise tax. And with that now, uh, within the next year or so, uh, actually two years going by the wayside, uh, we're looking at new programs to incentivize the both industries, both the grape growers and the wine producers, uh, to then therefore be more competitive when it comes to our domestic market as well as our international markets. Are we going to see a point in time where the taxes for wines moving uh, within Canada, is, is that going to change soon? I know the wine industry has been lobbying for that. Is that more of a provincial issue? Well, it's both, but we do have uh, participation in that discussion. Uh, but I'll say this: uh, one of one of the one of the uh, benefits to the incentive that was and what we're working on that will be is that if in fact the wine producers do uh, use utilize 100% domestic content, then of course with that they'll be further incentivized. Uh, so we're trying to promote obviously the wine. Uh, producers to 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 do what they do good to do what they do best is make great wine throughout the country uh, and of course be more competitive domestically as well as internationally but having said that it's equally as important to ensure that uh, the supply chain vis-a-vis -vis our uh, our grape growers are also uh, benefiting from any action that we both the province and the federal government may take uh, to ensure that their stability is, is sustainable well into the future Vance, I had a hot tip going into this weekend that Italy was going to win the Euro on a shootout. And I couldn't find a place to do any single game sports betting. I know the law has passed, the bill has passed. When will we see it actually make it possible for us to make those bets? We worked extremely hard on this. And when I say we, I don't just mean, you know, the, the Liberal uh, caucus, uh, cabinet, minister, but equally. If not more importantly, it was it was the Conservatives as well as the NDP. Myself and uh, Kevin Waugh uh, from the Conservatives and Brian Massey from the uh, the NDP worked extremely hard throughout the past two years to ensure that the criminal code was changed to then therefore allow for single sport betting. Uh, with that said, it, it is delegated to the provinces and, and, and territories to to regulate. We're hoping it's imminent, especially here in Niagara as a border community and in competition with those over the border on the American side. Uh, we feel that uh, we need this ASAP so that therefore uh, our tourism sector vis-a-vis -vis the casinos and those that will take part in this uh, will be ready to go and create more jobs and more economy for the Niagara region. How much focus on Parliament Hill is the crisis with the residential schools taking at this point in time? <clears throat> a lot of focus. Uh, I just had a discussion one-on-one uh, -on -one with both Indigenous Caucus as well as the Prime Minister with respect to an imminent decision or, or direction actions uh, that we must, and I underline, must take uh, immediately. Uh, that being getting into all 139 sites uh, throughout the country to uh, locate any possible uh, children. Uh, secondly, is to, to ensure that uh, we work together with the Catholic Church uh, although kicking and screaming uh, at, the po at this point, um, it is imminent that the Catholic Church also participate uh, in the healing process of which uh, we're embarking on. Uh, and that uh, also including the Indigenous communities, most importantly, uh, to ensure that uh, the three of us uh, move forward uh, to look at all 139 sites, to look at uh, a, a registry uh, so that the families can, can, think, can come to some uh, peace and, and some closure. And then finally, to to also, uh, once again, as I mentioned earlier, to work within the entire uh, country, uh, working together through truth and reconciliation and move forward in all the calls uh, that's, that's contained within the truth and reconcilia reconciliation process. Uh, myself being Indigenous and as well as being on the Indigenous caucus uh, and working with the Prime Minister as well as the, the relevant ministers, both Bennett and, and Miller, uh, we're ahead of this, and, and we're working with the Indigenous communities to ensure that that healing process uh, happens much sooner than, uh, than later. Vince, you mentioned the government's relationship with the Catholic Church. In your opinion, do you think Prime Minister Justin Trudeau will be soon asking for an apology from the Pope? Uh, again, uh, I, don't, I don't want to speak for the Prime Minister, but I would expect it. Uh, so, you know, and I think many others would as well throughout the country as well as on caucus. 
uh, and all across all across Parliament, and, and, and I do expect it. Um, yeah, there's 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 an imminent need for the Catholic Church to step up um, and 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 take on responsibility. And I think uh, with with not only an apology, but also participating in, in moving forward uh, with the government of Canada, as well as the indigenous communities that are affected or, or all indigenous communities for that matter, uh, to move forward once again to to continue the healing process and as well to ensure that uh, the truth and reconciliation and the calls that are contained within the truth and reconciliation are moved forward in an expedient fashion. Vance, I know you probably can't officially answer this question. I'm going to ask it anyway. Is there going to be an election call? <laughs> I was anticipating that question, Mike. No, I don't know. Uh, there has been no talk, uh, in, frankly, from, from our caucus. Uh, I, I know there's a lot of uh, speculation out there uh, from all parties as well as the public and media. And uh, if an election is uh, called, then, then we deal with it and move on. And then whatever the end result is, it is. Uh, but again, we're just focused on what's happening here in Niagara. Vance, thanks for joining us again. Thanks, Mike.